Hey everybody, this is Ted Check, recovering reporter. So in the last, uh, I guess it was just earlier today, I learned of two things in the media that I think, well at least this one thing, that had fans uh, really upset, really upset about, but when in actuality, uh, they really shouldn't be because what, what do you expect? File this under, what do you expect? It's fake TV. So, so what, what, what expectations did you have? Yeah. Stop beeping. Anyway, so, so yeah, so I don't watch this show, but apparently this Bachelorette show, um, let's, let's pull this down a little bit. Yeah. So I guess it's one chick and like 20 dudes. And then she, uh, has to pick, I guess she's got to whittle it down to like two dudes. So, so she has to fall in love with somebody. Because the end result is she has to she has to fall in love with some two people, and then choose one and marry them. So uh, right there, I mean, uh, right uh, right from the jump, we know it's contrived. We know it's fake, because that's just how organic is that? Well, it's not at all. Um, so what, apparently they're being slammed uh, for cruel and inhumane treatment of star Jen Tran. I mean. It's TV, people. It's TV. What do you want? Of course. So what they did was they got these two. So she proposed to him. He said, yeah. And then he thought about it and he said, nah. And so she's upset. So then they have this like reunion episode or whatever. They bring the two of them together and then they play for her the whole thing again. The, the, the whole proposal and blah, blah, blah. And to get this, to elicit this response. She's upset. He's remorseful. It's great emotions. It's great TV. But I guess the fans thought that that was uh, cruel and inhumane. I mean, would they think it would be so if the roles were reversed? If it was The Bachelor instead of The Bachelorette? I don't know. Um, but they're saying, I, apparently they've never done this particular thing before. Getting two people together and then showing them the breakdown of the whole thing. I guess that's never happened in, the, in, the, um, in however many seasons they've been doing of this thing. And so people are shocked. People are stunned by this whole thing. And I, I don't think that they should be because, number one, it's fake. It's fake. What do you expect? And number two, it's TV. So, of course, they're going to go for the high emotions. They're going for ratings. That's all it is. They're just trying to make money. But people don't. People get so wrapped up in it uh, that they think it's real, you know, and they think it's like part of their lives. And they think they know these people. It's like, no, you don't get it. Most of these things don't work out. You know, it, 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 do you remember the, the first one was, uh, who wants to marry a multimillionaire? Well, a guy wasn't a millionaire and they didn't fall in love and they got an, they got an annulled like right after the trip. That was years and years ago. That was like one of the first reality TV shows. Anyway, I just, I just don't get it. The second thing is that the Travis Kelsey, Taylor Swift, uh, romance, romance is, uh, is another one that's fake, and, and apparently that's coming to a close. Although, uh, probably not the way that they thought it would, unless this part's fake too. But, unless they meant to do it this way. But, apparently somebody came across a, uh, a news release or, or some type of correspondence from Travis Kelsey's PR team talking about how the relationship is going to end on a specific date, um... Yeah, it just seemed all too per so it's the end of this month. I think it's like uh September 28th. September 28th. That's when it's all was all supposed to end. And you know, they wanted to make it uh they so it was a, a full plan. They're like, "Okay, they're going to break up on this date, but then we're going to release this 3 days after to allow the initial media frenzy to settle and ensure clarity." Um it just seems this is very specific, you know, as as uh as somebody who works in public relations. This is very specific, and they're game planning here, they're strategizing. So for somebody to go to these lengths, if, if this document is not real, if somebody just sat down and said, oh, I'm, I'm going to write this fake correspondence about how we're going to end the relationship between Travis Kelsey and, and Travis Swift, <laughs> Taylor Swift, um, it just seems very meticulous, very detail-oriented. Far too meticulous and detail oriented for somebody just to do it on a lark. So I tend to think that it is real. So, uh, example, Travis and Taylor have decided to part ways after careful consideration. They both value and respect each other's personal lives and appreciate your respect for privacy during this time. So that they both 
come out smelling like a rose. Okay, they don't, Travis's PR team doesn't want his reputation damaged in any way. So here it is, full scope. That is, in fact, from what I understand, that is his PR company. Um, that's the that's their logo, that's their letterhead. But you know, you have to wonder. Well, is is that real or is that or did somebody? But look at it. Look at it here. It's multiple pages. All you know. Look at the detail. Look at the meticulous nature of it. Um, but you know, yeah. So it calls into question the relationship. It just seemed too perfect, right? You got the most popular pop star in the world. You've got uh, one of the most popular football players on arguably the best football team in the world coming together, joining forces. Just how uh, what a coincidence, right? And it just so happens that their romance started just before the football season started. And it just so happened that she was at most of the home games for the Kansas City Chiefs. So therefore, she got a bump. She, she got her fans to watch NFL games. And I don't know how many NFL fans became her fans, but she got, she got the, the exposure of being at NFL games. So everybody's benefiting. Everybody's making money here. Okay. Uh, I'm just wondering, you know, this relationship, did it extend to, hmm, shall we say, benefits? Or was it all for the public eye? Um, you just wonder. You wonder. Well, how far did it go? Did it extend to the bedroom or did it not extend to the bedroom? I, I want to know. How far did you take it? You know, if it's contrived. But um, let's let's get on to X. Uh, well, this is a guy. That, uh, apparently, he plays for the Ravens. I don't know who he is. Everybody and their brother has a podcast these days. Um, everybody thinks that uh, somebody's interested in hearing them talk and that they have something important to say. Uh, but anyway, Ravens player Razzes. I didn't know we used the word Razzes anymore. I, thought, I don't know. Anyway, Ravens player Razzes Travis Kelsey and credits Taylor Swift with New Heights. Six, I don't know what New Heights is. Before NFL game. I, I, don't, I don't know what that means. But I, what he's saying basically is that, the, that they benefited or that Travis Kelsey benefited from his relationship with, with uh, Taylor Swift. Uh, that, that's essentially what he's saying. In ways that he that he wouldn't have otherwise. I think it's uh, his podcast. I think this that guy was saying that the, the podcast between the Kelsey brothers got a bump in popularity. Um, but here's something interesting. Look at this photo. Maybe it was real all along because uh, if it's fake, why on earth would she be yelling at him? He's not he's not performing his his duties of the fake relationship. I mean, clearly she's not happy right here, and it looks like she's not happy at him. What what exactly did he do or not do in this fake relationship? She, they're really getting into it. They're really playing the roles. It's amazing. Um. Yeah. So let's go ahead. now. Vivek, Vivek, excuse me, Vivek Ramaswamy. Um, he said, "I wonder." And this was this was a little while back, January of this year. I wonder who's going to win the Super Bowl next month. Uh, and I wonder if there's a major presidential endorsement coming from an artificially culturally propped up couple this fall. Just some wild speculation over here. Let's see how it ages over the next eight months. The guy is uh, is a prognosticator. He's uh, Nostradamus. Yeah, I mean, uh, he's got that. It's culturally propped up couple. That, that's what they are. Uh, we knew, we knew, we knew that the Kansas City Chiefs were going to be in the Super Bowl so that Taylor Swift could be there. We knew that they were going to win so that she could then come down on the field and kissy kissy with with Travis Kelsey for the world to see. And uh, although she hasn't, in a strange twist of fate, it's uh, the quarterback, Patrick Mahomes. His wife apparently is a big Trump support. So let's say we still haven't heard anything from Taylor Swift or Travis Kelsey as far as where they are leaning and i mean frankly i don't care but um it's it's all it's all just all very interesting stuff here and and then the the other thing is that um yeah the headline here back at the mail is that okay so now we have a team of lawyers because they're upset travis kelsey gosh darn it he's upset he's upset travis kelsey's team call in lawyers over leaked contract 
that claimed to reveal the exact date his relationship with Taylor Swift would end. So if the whole thing is fake, why all the to-do about it? Why not just, I mean, it's public relations, right? So if it's not real, just whoop, clam up and it goes away. That's kind of one of the basic understandings, underpinnings of public relations, right? If it's not real, why would you call attention to it? You you just created this groundswell. You just uh, exponentially expanded the uh, the reach of this whole thing. If you if you think that if they thought it was fake, they should have just shut up. But instead, they're going to sick lawyers on it, and it's all over the news. It's everywhere, all over the news. Um, but yet, but yet it's. So, so I would be willing to bet. See, and actually, they—I don't know that they have actually denied it. I don't know if they, they've denied the material, the information that's in the document. I think they're more upset that it got leaked, because nobody was supposed to know. It was just supposed to be the uh, the graceful ending to this fairy tale love affair, you know. And now the cat's out of the bag. Um, Funny how funny that, and I'm sure people are upset because either they they believed in the relationship and now we've we've just burst their bubble. Uh, they believed in the relationship between Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey, or uh, they're just they're they're upset that it that it now they've they've realized oh crap it was a fake relationship after all, and they're upset about that. Again, what did people expect? You know, I guess they weren't wise to to it being contrived. A lot of us were not fooled by the whole thing, but um, I think a lot of people were. And now they're upset, but then, you, you know, you just have to ask, well, what did you expect? It, you you got to just come at this this stuff from the standpoint of start from it's fake and then move forward from there. And then, and then if you find evidence to the contrary, well, then, uh, you know, then, then fine. But you got to kind of, it's like a reverse criminal justice system, you know, innocent until proven guilty. It, you start from guilty and then you go towards innocent if that's where the evidence leads you. So yeah, you just have to start from the standpoint that it's fake and then you'll be okay. Anyway, so there you go. Uh, I just had to rant about that. Let me know your thoughts and I'll talk to you later.